I'm going to show how I use the Hedges app to scan my hand for the Svalbard custom palm rest. You want to use the LiDAR scanner, which utilizes the face ID, which has higher definition for scanning. There, I just put my hand in the Svalbard and in a comfortable position and then check to scan it. Or as I see, I'm just using a towel to get a comfortable position for my hand. And then we scan. Just a little back and forth motion is necessary because we only need the bottom of our palm. We're catching a bunch of extra information like our fingers and wrist. After the recording, we can come in, check the scan, export it as an STL so we can then put that into Fusion 360. If here's just checking the scan, we can see there's some artifacts in there that I might need to clean up later, but we could also possibly ignore. Now in Fusion 360, we import the mesh of that scan. Uh, it has to be in meters, uh, of, at least that was for me, it had to be meters to get the right proportion. The first thing I want to do is take this mesh and just reduce down the size of it a little bit by reduce, reducing. I chose uniform for this for this here. And the little previews, you can see we're just reducing the number of little bases that we're getting to make it a slightly smaller and easier for to work with. The next thing I like to do to clean up the edges a little bit real quickly is remesh. And again, still using uniform because I don't need 100% accuracy to my hand, but just approximate accuracy. From here, I'm going to edit and something went a little bit wrong there. So I'm going to exit that real quick and try one more time so it maintains the version with less faces and edit. And I'm just painting out the fingers and in a moment I will delete them because this is extra extra stuff I don't need right now. But there's no specific reason you have to do this. I just wanted a smaller file to work with. But if you do have artifacts that are farther away and impacting your scan, then you can also delete those as well. So here we are we're left with mostly just the palm, some of the fingers and some of the wrist. And the next thing I want to do is move over to the form tab in Fusion. And I am going to start creating a surface to follow my palm. One of the things I'm doing here is I'm starting off with everything in 2D. And the goal here will be to get the rough outline of the hand and then make it 3D. In a moment, we will see me select the edge. I double clicked on my mouse to select that edge. And now alt clicking, oh, in a moment, I am about to alt click to extend that out and create a new set of surf surfaces. I actually don't know the name off the top of my head, but I'm creating a bunch of different sections here that I can then adjust the size. Again, I'm doing all this in 2D. I'm realizing that's looking at it in the preview versus the, I want to look at it in box display. Okay. So again, I just want to roughly outline the shape of my hand. I'm using the arrows just to drag things back and forth and keep them kind of uniform right now. If you select the box in the middle, you'll have a little more freeform movement, um, which will be useful later on. I think we're going to speed this up right now so I can go through this, go through this and then into. So here I'm realizing that my mesh, my form is just a little far away from the hands. I'm going to bring it a little bit closer. And 
come back and work on it just in 2D again. I was just having some problems trying to select the edge right there. So you can go over to the selection filter on the side and pick just edges or points. There's no real wrong way to go about it right now. The main thing is just trying to keep it somewhat organized and even spacing between them for the forms later on. And so I'm trying to build out that area for the thumb. And in a moment, I'm going to go up to modify and select insert edge. I double click to get the entire edge and we can see the green line is where the edge is going to insert. I'll click OK and then I will select one little section of that and drag that out right to give that area for the thumb in there. And right now I want I do just want to keep this as like one big piece. So I didn't just drag out one little section there. I drag out the the entire profile there. Uh, just so that I have to mess with anything later on about how forms came together. That's just a small tip for creating this. Again, I want some more definition in there. So now I'm dragging a, another insert edge just to sort of bring that in a little bit right, for the thumb area right there. And I'm just sort of checking from the other side to see how it looks, how it matches. So now I am taking the entire edges inside and dragging them up to meet some section of the hand, both the sort of lowest section of the palm right there. So double click to select the whole line, the whole row there, drag it up to match the rough side profile at the lowest edge. Come back and do that towards the uh, wrist area. Really satisfied with that. So now it's time to make this even match the hand even better. And I'm going to drag different sections and pull them up to meet the palm. It is going to create some really real weird forms in here at first. I just like to pick little sections up at a time to make them match. First, I'll start with an entire little blocks or points, uh, sorry, blocks or edges. And then as I keep getting closer and closer to matching the hand, I'll just select individual points. I, I just like to use the arrows to sort of lock myself into an X, Y, or Z axis as I move things. You can sort of select the boxes in between them. So that'll allow you to select like a ZX or a ZY or a YX uh, movement in the axis, but that uh, is just a little too much for this. And I like to keep it simple by just dragging an individual axis at a time. The, the main thing I'm doing is just kind of pulling it up towards that uh, scan. And we can see, right, of course, that some of the scan is showing through. And it just depends how detailed you want to get to actually match your scan. Uh, this is because I don't have the full uh, professional version of Fusion. If you do, there, I believe there is an option to just actually take your scan and automatically convert it to a T-spline or surface, but that is not available to me, which is why I had to make it with the forms instead. So I'm just going to speed this up to three times speed to just work through just these small adjustments. Maybe add in another edge where I need some more definition. Ideally, you want as few edges as possible, but you can do as, uh, that's mostly to keep the forms a little smoother, but you can add as many as you feel you need. Better to work from larger forms and then work our way down to smaller forms. So now I'm switching from box display to smooth display because this is what it's actually gonna look like. You can edit in here as well and moving the points around, and that's good for some final fine adjustments. But 
for this rough demo. I like the way this is looking in terms of matching that scan. So now I'm going to modify and select the body and thicken. So I want to thicken down away from the palm, not up into it. We'll select OK, you can, however thick you want it to be. And now you have a solid body. Uh, well, sorry, you don't have a solid body. You still have a form. So if you select the form and convert, it'll turn into a solid body. And now you have a solid body. You cannot go back and edit that form anymore. You have to um, make it all over again if there's anything wrong with it. So it, there are ways that you can go back and forth uh, with the forms, but then you won't have the ability to edit in the timeline in Fusion. But overall, again, this modeling only took about 10 minutes, uh, non, like even including like the speed up, uh, you could probably spend like another 20 and get pretty far about where you exactly need to be. But here's a form. We'll just do some section analysis, sorry, some zebra analysis and some curvature analysis, just so you can see the sort of forms that are happening. There's no way I could have made this without so well matching my hand without the scan. I hope this was informative.